Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to make your characters look different ages. Yeah. So v kind of has this default, I'm in middle school, high school-ish look, depending on like, you know, whatever. Um, and I know this outfit isn't really middle school or high school, but it's the one that I threw on this character. Also, if you're interested, these textures are all available on my booth. Uh, yeah, the skin textures and the highlights and the eye lines are free and like the eyeballs I think are like a buck or two and I don't know, I think some of this is free. I don't know, whatever. It's it's over there, you can go check it out. Um, also the hair texture is just default because I just got done recording the other two videos. <clears throat> On that note, um, I'll, I noticed a lot of people ask me, they're like, how do you make your V-Roid look different? Or I can't make my V-Roid look older, they all look like kids. Well, listen here, Sonny Jim. I'm gonna show you how you can make your V-Roid look a little older or a little younger. And, and it'll really help. Um, and it works for both men and women. Uh, but we're gonna work with the female because I just happen to have it up. All right. So, for the most part, let's, let's, let's make them look a little younger, okay? So what we're gonna do for the female, we're going to shorten her down a little bit. We might make the um, uh, the bust smaller because we don't really need a big bust on a small character. The legs we might make uh, a little bit downward, and the hands uh, we're gonna do the thickness a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So we're like kind of like that. And as far as the head. We might do the head upward just a little bit, and the width a little bit. Actually, I'm going to keep it down, just up the width a little bit. And now we're going to go over to the face editor, because everything is about body proportions and head proportions. So the younger you are, the bigger your eyes are, because your eyes don't really change size as you get older. Um, which is where a lot of the issues with that uzaki kun thing was is that they gave her really large eyes in comparison to the other characters in the series which made her look younger than the other characters in the series all right so we're gonna go like bigger eyes um kind of like that um the face might be a bit more rounded because you kind of have like a little bit more of that like sort of like a chubbier face a little bit it's not really a chubby it's a wider face look your your face starts out wide it thins off and then it widens again uh, it's weird fucking things are weird all right and we're gonna just kind of like lower that position just a little bit um i might also move the mouth up a little bit we're gonna kind of like pull in the features towards the face a little bit um, and if you really want to kind of give more of a youthful look, you can kind of do the, like, the big rounder eyes. Yeah, most of, most of this stuff's fine for now. Um, and it'll kind of give you more of a baby face looking thing. Granted, the outfit's not really, really baby face, but you know what? We can change it. Let's go to the clothing editor. We'll just, uh, we'll just do the uniform. Uh, hold on. We'll do the uniform. Wait, uniform! That's it, skirt. Nope. Uniform, skirt. There we go. There we go. We did the uniform. It makes, makes them look a little younger. Okay. Outfit also helps. But yeah, so here we go. We have like this. Um, uh, another thing you might want to add. To the body is. I don't want the torso. I want the. I want the torso. I don't remember where that's located in this mess. Head arm, whatever. Uh, we're gonna do the torso downwards a little bit. So it's a shorter torso, uh, shorter legs, sort of body, and a wider face, bigger eyes. And the stuff, like the nose and the mouth, kind of like more pulled in towards the center. 
like, uh, kind of like this. And with or whatever is fine. It doesn't really matter. And this is how you do, like, you would youngify your model a little bit, right? So this would be more middle school, where the other one's kind of more high school. And now we're going to kind of do more adult. Alright, so for this one, let's start with the body. We're going to go to the body editor. I'm going to increase the torso length just a little bit. The uh, bust volume, just a little bit. Like, we don't have to give big bazongas in order to make her look mature, but, you know, she would have something. Uh, pull the legs out a little bit. We're going to make a little longer legs. And for the whole body, we're going to make them a bit taller. And for the head, we're going to thin it out just a little bit. And then we're going to take the head size down. So there is a ratio you're kind of looking for. And depending on the age is the, you know, the ratio you want. Something like this is about good. Which I have it at like about 30 down. This is normal. But like the smaller you make it, the kind of like, well not like that, but you know. Right here is good. And you can thin it up, thin up the head a little bit. You don't want it too thin, but you know, right about there. Uh, and for the hands, I'm definitely going to make the, the they're a little thinner again. Alright, now for the face. Um, so we're going to thin out the face a little bit. We're going to remove the rounded chins. And we're going to kind of pull this face downward, so it's thinning it out a little bit. And we can pull the chin down a little bit if we want to make the, uh, the face seem longer, which is one of the things we're going to do. Alright. Uh, pull the mouth down a little bit and the nose down a bit. Just a little bit. And now for the eye shape, we're gonna kind of like pull the eyes up just a little bit. And the height and the width. The width can stay kind of where it is, but we're gonna make it a little shorter and we're gonna put the eye position up higher on the face. Um... Usually it'd go a little narrower for the irises. You don't need them that, that big. And for this one, I'm going to kind of give it a bit more of like that uh, mature look, I guess. I'm going to pull those up a little bit. There we go. Um... Eyes, I think I am going to pull them up a little bit more, and the brows I'm going to kind of bring down closer to the head. I might even pull them in a little bit, but that's just more of a preference thing. So basically I've pulled the eyes and the eyebrows together here, and then the face itself. Um, you try to keep it proportioned with everything. Yeah, maybe about there, and I might move them. Yeah, maybe the mouth should have been up a little bit higher. Yeah, right there is fine. So we went from like kind of teenage, well, like tween to college age, if not a little older. Um, and it looks a, a bit better with like this outfit. So she kind of looks kind of like adult. She's she could be young mom somewhere, maybe in her twenties. And if you kind of want to make a character that's a bit more, mm, you can pull it down. Also, if you give her a bit more modesty, usually that's a, more in line with uh, being older. Is you don't really feel the need to strut around with all your shit hanging out because whatever. Um, <clears throat> Now, if you wanted to make a character that's a bit more voluptuous, shall we say? Uh, let me uh, make him over here, and I'm gonna remove this dress. Don't even mind that. Let's say you do want to strut your shit off. What if you want to be like more? Oh, da, da. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. You would be more more like our gamma. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to give yourself like some more bosom, give yourself some more bosom. You would want to pull them in a bit more and to kind of give it more of that cleavage. And be mindful that doing this will sometimes give you some cleavage. Uh, for the waist, you're going to want the torso down a little bit. And you're going to want to like pull out those hips. Now granted, the smallness of like waist and stuff, like... This is all like... Personal preference, right? So for this I didn't really do too much. I brought the, the waist up and you can even go up a little further if you really want to give it some of that like bam. And uh, the bust, you know, if you really want to like give it some of that bam. But you're you're looking for like this uh, hourly glass figure if you if you will. Um, for me I would even make the legs a little longer. I'd give it kind of like a longer leg. And I would take the foot size down a little bit. Um, as far as the head, I would go down a little smaller. And the face, I would take the eyes up a little bit more. And the eyebrows up a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Because we're basically trying to make things a little smaller on the face. Maybe even shorten. Uh, yeah, I might even shorten it a little bit. The width doesn't really matter too, too much. Yeah, so now we've gone a little older, a little bit more MILF. Also, they, this one piece skirt is, uh, was it pencil skirt is the fucking worst. I don't... why? Okay. But, so something like this would also work for men as well. The only difference is, um... Is if possible, square off the jawline, the older, older the character looks. Um, but yeah. And that would be kind of how you'd get more of a milfy look. Although, I don't like the way the breasts are in uh, v -Roy. They don't... And this will sound weird. They don't sag properly. So, they don't... They don't sit like breasts would. Like, I, I would want this to kind of be a bit more flatter and then round off here. Like, and even if they're hoisted up, they still don't like... I don't know, their breasts are kind of weird. Putting it up upward a little bit's fine. Bring the uh, size down just a little bit, you know. But yeah, but for the most part, that's pretty much how you would age your character around. It really has to do with the size of the body versus the size of the head. So the older you want them to be, the smaller you want the head in relationship to the body. Um, usually, uh, eight head lengths is a full-grown adult. Um, six, I think, is kind of like teen to young adult. Or seven's teen to young adult, and six would be like tween, I think. I don't know. And then you get like two or three, and you got like chibi, but no, I don't know. I don't worry about that. Um, also, you want to keep in mind that the older you get, the smaller your eyes are. So you'll want like smaller, kind of more narrower eyes. And you probably want them a little higher up on the body than, or on the face than as a kid. Cause like kids, it they tend to show like more of it clustered together towards this area instead of spreading it out towards like the whole of the face. So yeah, that is how you would age your, your character to look a bit more mature. It also helps. Um, when you're doing like making your V-Roid not look so v -roidy. So if this video has helped you out at all, uh, please give it a like and um, uh, uh, fucking yeah. And if you have any questions, you can ask them down below and I'll do my best to try to get to them. I might not get to all of them, but I do my best. And if you have big boing boing energy, please subscribe. <laughs> 
if you have some of that boing boing energy or you like boing boing energy, then please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next whatever video. Alright. Bye.